My name is Jessica Fainel, and I'm the Academic Affairs Coordinator in the Academic Affairs Office. We work with faculty and scheduling, so any questions that you have regarding um, the schedule or individual faculty members can be directed to us. So Goldie offers a variety of degree programs in business, criminal justice, English, psychology, and there's a lot more that you can find on the GBC website. Um, specifically though, we offer both associate degrees, which are two-year degrees, as well as four-year bachelor degrees. One thing that a lot of students don't realize is that they can actually do both. So a student who comes in working towards their bachelor's degree can actually pick up their associate's degree along the way. It's definitely something that you want to talk to your advisor about, um, but it's a great option for students who want to complete an associate's and a bachelor's. Um, also, all of our degrees have general education requirements, so we want students to be well-rounded in psychology, sociology, uh, math, and history. So those are some of the first courses that you'll start off with in any degree program. So for our current undergrad students, there's a lot of ways you can enhance your degree. Um, students can actually do Microsoft certifications. We also offer internship opportunities. You can additionally add a minor to your degree. And then once you move into your junior and senior year, you may want to consider one of our graduate level programs. Uh, we have a three plus three law program. We offer an MBA. We also offer a Master of Arts in Counseling Psychology. And then for students who are lifelong learners and want to come back after some corporate experience, we also offer a DBA program. So I think the two biggest keys to success in the classroom are respect and academic integrity. Um, respect comes up in a lot of ways. I think it's important to respect First and foremost, the faculty member who's teaching, um, put down your phone, pay attention in class, obviously show up, go to class, show up on time, even if that's in person or if that's a Zoom meeting, make sure that you're there on time. Uh, also respect for your fellow classmates. I think now more than ever, it's critically important to stop and listen to what other people have to say. What, again, whether that's your fellow classmate or instructor, there's so much learning that begins when we start to listen to each other, even if it's a opposing viewpoint. That's where a lot of learning happens. Um, the other is academic integrity. And basically what that means is do the right thing. Do the right thing when no one is looking. So if the professor happens to leave the room during a test, don't look at someone else's paper. Don't text exam questions or answers to others and really be mindful that you're going to get out of it what you put into it. So um, uphold those standards and that's going to lead you far both in the classroom but also in life. So plagiarism is taking someone else's work or ideas as your own. Um, some examples of plagiarism would be um, using text from a source online and putting that in your own paper and not citing it properly. Or it could be as simple as looking at someone else's test during an exam and copying those answers. We take plagiarism really seriously. Um, it's something that could result in an F, a failing grade on an assignment, or a class as a whole. So you definitely want to be careful. When in doubt, talk to your professor. You'll hear a lot about it from your instructors on campus. Um, but again, when in doubt, talk to an advisor, talk to the professor, um, because it's something that you definitely don't want to be uh, involved with here on campus.